If YouTube playlists are not your thing, you can find this course and more at poll.unfgames.com. It's easier to follow along and know where you left off. Now, let's start the video. Now we know how to use events and how to use functions. So, what's the big difference about it? First, events can't return a value. What do I mean by this? If I here I called play pickup sound, it it seems like o almost the same, right? But here in my function, I'm gonna click on it. There are inputs. Maybe I want to add some new input here. Perfect. The event can do exactly the same. But if we wanted to return a value, maybe if, I don't know, the number of coins it w was picked up, I could also create an output in my function and change it to an integer. For example, I cannot do that with an event. And well, let, let me enter the function. Now we have a return node that I need to connect, otherwise it probably will be an error or it may return zero for a value. So I can change it to maybe three or whatever, right? Or this number of coins to give. I'm not gonna do it, that, that was just an example. But my function can return values. Let me delete everything I have done. The event, there it is, perfect. Why is it that my function can return values and my event can't? It's because when it, whenever I call a function, and let me delete this pickup sound, whenever I call a function, I am I know for a fact that it will be all calculated and execute it or run on the same frame it was called. So if we were in frame, I don't know, 10, and I called pickup, before the frame ends, this function will run all of its code. Even if it's calling an event, what this is doing is just telling the event to run. But an event, does not give me the same security of of the function that it will finish running on the same frame. Why? Because an event can't be delayed. Here I have a node called delay and I can run more stuff. So I don't really know when this custom event will end. And that's fine because if we wanted to know that this, this functionality needs to run on the same frame, then it would probably best suit it to a function. Inside a function, I cannot call a delay because everything that runs here will finish on the same frame that has been called. So as an example, and oh, well, like I was saying, even though I'm calling the event, I'm just telling it to run. I'm not expecting anything for, from the event. Let's, let's create a little uh, respawn behavior. We, we already know that we can pick it up. Perfect, with my explosion sound. So let's create a custom event called respawn pickup. And here, I'm gonna create the a little um, the, the code that I need in order for it to pop up again. That will be the, here in the pickup. This hides my pickup. I could create a function out of it. So let's do it. Right click it, function. And it's a function because 
I know that whenever I tell it to hide, then I want it to be processed on the same frame. I don't want to wait anything for it to hide. So let's call it toggle visibility and collision. And the same naming convention as the variables is more useful to have a longer name if I can glance at it and understand it quickly. So here I'm calling it toggle visibility and collision. And I'm calling it toggle because we can add, we don't need to create a, a one, one function to hide and another, and another one to show. We can just add a new input here and we can call it um, height, maybe. Yeah, we can call it height or oh, shoot height. Let's compile it. And now with that variable, I can do here what it's called, the same stuff that I did here, a select, but instead is a select of a Boolean. So select and here it should be fairly easy to understand, should hide. If I wanted to hide the new hidden, if this is true, then it should be true because new hidden will be true. And if it's false, then it's okay because the I don't want it to hide and it will pass it a false value. To enable the collisions, something very similar and I'm gonna see if maybe it's too similar. If I wanted to hide, the collision should be not enabled and if I wanted to show this will be false so the collision should be enabled so now I can connect it like this and I'm gonna use some reroute nodes in order to fix this it's not fixing it's just a matter of personal preferences it's useful not to cross the wires so I can double click on a wire and a reroute now node will be created. Let's create another one and do something like this. Now it's a little bit cleaner. Let's compile. Toggle visibility, let's use this function now. On pickup, toggle visibility should hide, yes. Whenever I want to respawn this pickup, respawn pickup, I could call toggle visibility and collision. And I should hide, it should be false. Now, how could I test this event without programming anything else? The events have a, a little advantage over the functions. A that adv advantage is called call in editor. I'm going to select the event, the respawn pickup event, and the call in editor, if I click on check, click on it, compile, what, save and compile. Now, we can click on any of our blueprints, and in my default values, I will find a respawn pickup button. It won't happen, it, it won't change anything for now. But let's here select viewport. I'm gonna pick up this coin and I'm gonna leave the area. And now I'm gonna press Shift F1 so I can regain mouse control. Now I, I can. Oh, Let's press Shift F1 again, and I'm gonna press this eject button that looks <laughs> really similar to an eject button for CDs. And what this does is detach the player controller. So now I'm a floating camera. 
is just like like uh, using the editor but the game is in execution this allows me to select the floor select my blueprints and my pawn that in this case is this uh, little sphere and I could change everything maybe I, I can change the the movement, the location, etc. But in my case, here in my world outliner, where everything inside my level will be shown, uh, whatever is in, in yellow, it was created during runtime. But my pickups are right here. My coin pickup 3 is right there, even though that is hidden. From the word outliner, I can I can select it, and I'm gonna press respawn pickup, and there it is. So my respawn functionality is working. Let's press again attach to the player controller, and allow allows normal gameplay. I can probably pick it up again. Yeah, that's right. So it's working. I wanted to respawn though. Let's. Go to my coin pickup and I wanted to execute this respawn after, after I don't know, maybe third, three seconds after picking it up. I can put it right here. Let's make a delay. Three seconds. And I'm, I can do it right here because this is an event. We are in the, in the event graph. If this was a function, then I couldn't. This would be not allowed. So now, let's call my respawn. And now, let's play again. And I'm going to select new editor window. Gonna pick up, wait three seconds, and it's back. Perfect.